All right, guys, so let's go ahead and access here the uh, camera on the Moto X. And let's go ahead and recap some of the specs here. We have a two megapixel front facing camera that can shoot video in 1080p. We have a 13 megapixel rear camera with dual flash. Uh, it can also shoot video in 1080p and also can shoot video in slow motion in 1080p and also video in 4K resolution. As far as accessing the camera, we can access right here pressing the camera icon. You can also check the phone in order to access the camera and you can also do that with the screen off. Now let's uh, take a quick look here now at the uh, access and uh, specs on the HTC One M. On the HTC One M, we can just uh, click right here to access the camera. And uh, as far as the specs, uh, we have a uh, five megapixel front-facing camera at wide angle. This is one of the highest resolutions for a front-facing camera on a phone. Uh, on the rear, we have a dual four megapixel. I'm sorry, ultra pixel dual cameras with dual tone LED flash. Uh, you can record video in 1080p with the front facing camera. Uh, video in uh, 1080p with the rear camera. Also can record video in 1080p at 60 frames per second, which you don't find on the Moto X. Uh, this phone can record video in slow motion, but cannot record video in 4K. So that's a feature that you see on the Moto X that you don't see here on the HTC One M8. So let's take a look now at the interfaces on both phones. All right, the interface here on the Moto X is probably one of the easiest uh, to uh, understand and be able to use. A very simple interface. Uh, here's the access to the front-facing camera. Uh, you can uh, take pictures by tapping on the screen. You can start the recording. Uh, you can tap pictures at the same time. You can stop the recording and go back to the front-facing camera. On the front facing, uh, on the rear camera, I'm sorry, uh, you can move around here the focus to concentrate the focus on a different area of the screen. You can tap to take pictures, uh, tap here to record, you can tap to take pictures while you are recording, you can pause the video, back to the recording and stop the video. Now, in order to access uh, the gallery or access to the last picture or video taken, we're gonna swipe from the right to the left, and that's gonna give you access to the last picture taken. In order to go back, we just swipe back, and if we swipe from the left to the right, this is gonna give you access to the settings of the camera. And let's take a look at the first one. The first one is a HDR. You can do auto, on, and off. The second one is a flash. The third one is a uh, control focus and exposure off. And this is the one I show you that you can move around the focus. And the next one is the video settings. You can do 1080p, uh, slow motion 1080p, and ultra HD 4K resolution. Uh, the next one, it's uh, the panorama mode. The next one is a uh, location. This is uh, to do widescreen or standard, 16 by 9 or 4.3 uh, uh, for taking pictures. The next one is uh, the shutter sound. And the last one is the option to check uh, the phone in order to start the camera. So let's go ahead and take a look now at the interface on the HTC One M8. All right, guys, so the interface on the HTC One M8, it's also easy, and, uh, easy to understand and easy to use. But when, you, when it comes to accessing uh, the modes or the settings to control manually, it can be complicated or confusing. Uh, so uh, here's the interface and different options. You get access to camera, video, solid camera, selfie, dual capture, and panorama. Let's take a look at each of them. Uh, this is the camera mode. And as you guys can see, uh, we can tap right here to take pictures. The phone takes the pictures very, very quick. You can also tap on the screen as well as uh, move the focus to concentrate on a different area. Uh, this gives you right here access to the gallery or the last uh, picture taken. Right here on the top uh, corner, we get access to the flash. And then right here, you're gonna get access to the settings. Uh, as you guys can see, there are some settings at the bottom. And we're looking at the different options and uh, settings for camera or pictures. Uh, this is the auto mode. Of course, you can change that manually. 
you get the ISO, you get this one right here, you get some filters, and then you get uh, access right here to the main settings of uh, the camera when it comes to the pictures. You can do the self timer, and then if you click right here on the camera options, you're gonna get different options as far as the setup. Uh, let's go back to video now. On their video, uh, you get about the same options right here for the settings on the bottom. Now, this one right here gonna give you access to a normal video. This one right here will be slow motion. Uh, the second one will be uh, full HD 60 frames per second and the last one will be uh, full HD HDR mode and then this one right here is going to give you access to some of the settings as far as the video uh, recording as you guys can see you can change here depending on the resolution that you want uh, back here to this, you're going to get the Zoe camera, which is going to uh, allow you to combine several uh, pictures or videos to create like a small uh, video, a slideshow video or a small movie. Uh, you get the selfie mode, which is going to activate the front facing camera. You can tap to take pictures. Uh, you can also do record. And then uh, you can stop the recording and pause the recording. This is the selfie mode. You can also go back uh, back and forth between the rear camera and the front facing camera by just uh, swiping down the screen. So that's as far as uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, interface here. The next one is a dual capture. On the dual capture mode, you can record with both cameras at the same time, which you don't find on the Moto X. As you guys can see right here, I can drag this around the screen. I can resize it. This is actually a really cool feature because you can see with both cameras at the same time record or either take pictures. And the last one is uh, the panoramic mode, which is also offered on the Moto X. Uh, why don't we go ahead and take a look now at the gallery interface and the different editing features. All right, guys, so here's the gallery interface on the Moto X. As you guys can see, we get uh, right here in the corner a small uh, settings uh, option right here. You can do a slideshow or you can select an item. So I ahead and select these uh, pictures that I don't want. And then from this point, you can share them on a social media or send by email. Put them on YouTube, uh, start a slideshow, or simply click right there and delete the pictures. Uh, if we click right here in the corner, you get four different options. You get camera roll, highlights which is going to uh, separate uh, uh, by date you get albums and you get videos now uh, let's go back to camera roll and if we click right here and you select a couple of items let's go ahead and select this this uh, let's do this one and let's do uh, this one right here and we click right here we can start a movie or a, a small and slideshow. Let's go ahead and put some title right here. And let's call this a uh, Moto X. If you click on uh, more options, and as you guys can hear, these are preset music uh, royalty free, I believe. Uh, it tells you right there the movie lane and uh, how many included pictures and videos are there. If you click right there, it's gonna give you access to the gallery to add more. And this one right here is going to give you access to change the music. And then from this point, you can include audio from the video clip uh, or no music at all. And then right here, we can go ahead and save the project. You can go ahead and change the title. You can save in uh, standard definition 480 or do high definition 720. So go ahead and save the project and take a look and see uh, how this looks like after it finished. As you guys can see, it's ready. Uh, we can uh, share it or we can just uh, play uh, the movie. Now, also, now, when it comes to picture editing from your gallery, you're gonna click on any picture, click on this uh, pen right there. And this is gonna give you access to different options at the bottom. 
is gonna offer different filters and the next one it's gonna offer different frames the next one is gonna give you uh, options to crop here's another option we can go ahead and rotate we can do mirror so now flip the picture and you can add color to the picture and the last one here it's gonna give you also more effects and you can adjust uh, different things here so that's as far as uh, picture editing from the gallery let's go ahead and take a look now what the HTC MA has to offer all right here is the interface of the gallery on the HTC one MA uh, you get the option right here on top to share to access to the camera or uh, add an album move to copy to print or delete uh, also if we click right here this is going to give you access to create a soy which is similar to what I show you on the uh, Moto X it's gonna create a slideshow uh, with the pictures and videos of. Uh, in order to edit in, let's go ahead and take a look at this picture right here. And if we tap on the screen, you're gonna get a menu right here. If we click on edit, this is gonna bring here different options as far as filters and options for editing. So if we click on filters right here, this is gonna give you different filters. Uh, the next one is going to give you access to different frames. Uh, the next one is going to give you access to tool. You can go ahead and draw on the picture. You can go ahead and select here the thickness of the marker, the color. Uh, you can go ahead and flip the picture. Let's see what else we have here. Also at the bottom guys, uh, we get access to the U-Focus, which is, this is a feature that is not included on the Moto X. And as you guys can see now, the red phone right there to the left uh, turns a blurry and the focus is concentrated right here on the solar phone. And uh, we can tap on the screen to change the focus. That's a really cool feature. Uh, the next one is a foregrounder. I love this one. Look at how cool that is. So it gives you the effect of a pencil and a black and white in a certain area of the picture. There's this one too. Uh, the next one is uh, seasons. You can add different effects depending on the season that you like to your pictures. Uh, the next one is uh, 3D. Uh, this is going to give you the option to move the picture around in the position that you like. Uh, the next one is uh, stickers. The next one is uh, copy and paste, touch up. So guys, uh, there you have it. That's as far as uh, both uh, the HTC One M8 and the Moto X cameras. Uh, I hope the video get, helps, guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe for more videos. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.